So there are differences between holes and openings. A hole is talking about any opening in a horizontal surface. An opening is always going to be in a vertical surface, such as a window opening. So a hole means a gap or open space in a floor, roof, horizontal, walking working surface, or similar surface that is at least two inches in its least dimension. So a couple examples of holes uh, that we would see in horizontal walking working surfaces are going to be the skylights that you'll find on roofs, uh, unless that skylight is designed to meet a certain capacity, we'll consider it a hole. And a skylight is not designed to keep people from falling through it. So when I was uh, an inspector, uh, I have actually seen skylights with handprints on the dusty part of the plastic where somebody was sitting up there and put their hands on it to stand up. If you're sitting on a skylight, you may have a 25-foot fall to the floor below, and they are not designed to keep you from falling through. So it is important that employers know, number one, if they allow their employees to go on a roof to do maintenance, it's not just the edge of the roof that is the hazard. It's also those multiple skylights. And so there are things that an employer can do, which is you buy guards and you guard those skylights so that a person cannot get to the skylight and fall through. Another example would be a trap door. So you may have a basement or a cellar that has a stairway that goes down to it, um, and there's a trap door that will hinge up. Another example of a hole would be a manhole cover or a utility vault cover. So when that cover is opened or removed, you've introduced a hole into a walking working surface. So an opening in the walking working surface rules means a gap or open space in a wall, partition, vertical walking working surface, or similar surface that is at least 30 inches high and at least 18 inches wide, through which an employee can fall to a lower level. So an opening is going to always be in a vertical surface, such as a window opening if the, if the glass is actually removed, it could be a opening in the wall if there is a debris chute, a trash chute, where there is the potential where an employee could fall into that opening and to a lower level. Generally the best way to prevent a uh, fall hazard through an opening is going to be with a standard guardrail system. So basically what you'll see is they'll have the window cut out, right? Your first board has to be 42, give or take three and then you go down to 21 and then a tow board. But if you have the window seal and you don't need a tow board or the bottom, bottom rail, you just gotta protect it. But that's not always possible. So you may have to use a travel restraint system that prevents an employee from physically being able to get into the wall opening. And in limited situations, um, a personal fall arrest system.